What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to defeat all of the Mad Knight, which is in my opinion one of the most difficult bosses in Ender Lilies. I'm going to go ahead and begin with kind of opening up that the first phase will consist of about three attacks. He's got a slash that he can combo up to two times. He's got a lunge attack, and his main attack is the AoE. It's a front flip that he does that activates his AoE that can do a lot of, of splash damage. So, what we want to do is we want to trigger his intro sequence first, and then once he is kind of in the game, so to speak, we want to dash through him and uh, trigger a, you know, a certain movement behavior. He's going to do a really, like, that was really strange positioning, which is fine. So he's doing a lunge. Uh, unfortunately, we got tagged almost within the first few seconds, but it's fine. We're still going to bait the attack and wait for him to do that front flip. If we're in a proper positioning, we're going to want to hit him up to two times. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to trigger a very specific sequence of moves where he will slash twice and then do a front flip. The front flip will then allow us to hit him two times. So we're just going to keep... If you ever dash through him, like this is perfect opportunity. If you ever dash through him and he's slashing you, just keep moving in the same direction until you know he's committed to either the front flip or a second slash. So here we're going to dash through again. If he's going to move slow like that, we're just going to go ahead and tag him. So we're going to do it again. Keep moving. He's committed to two slashes. He didn't want to do his front flip. So we're going to do it again. Keep dashing through. He's doing his front flip now. We've got two hits on him. You want to be careful not to get tagged by um, his... Whatchamacallit here. Whoa! You don't want to be careful by hitting his sprite because that's what I just did. And that's why I got hurt. So we're going to go ahead and knock him out with our range attack. And this is where you want to unleash as much as possible. Um... Again, at this point, it's just a matter of triggering that those same attacks. If you, Even if you're moving in the same direction away from his second strike, you still have enough recovery to dodge that front flip. See? Like so. So there I was positioned kind of poorly, so I didn't want to do more than uh, just the one strike. He's going to do his X slash here, which you want to time at the very last moment when he opens his arms. That's when you want to go ahead and, and dash through. So he's doing his uppercut there. That's also a good attack to counter. Let's see, he's going to do something ranged here. A lunge, which we can go ahead and hopefully punish. He can do all the other strikes from phase one as well. He's doing his uppercut, which we're going to go ahead and get one hit. Never get more than one hit unless he's doing his front flip or you've uh, removed all his poise and he's stunned. So that's two strikes there. Uppercut, so we're going to get one strike in. He's going to do his front flip, which is fine. We're going to reposition to try and hit him. Okay, his, po his poise is down, so he's stunned. We're going to unlock everything we can on him, unleash everything we can. He's going to do an uppercut, which he can do two uppercuts in phase three, which is utterly devastating. Because at that point, um, it's really difficult to dodge, because you're usually right in his face when he's doing it. So That was, a n that was not a very ideal position to dodge him through. Fortunately, the iframes are pretty forgiving in this game, so if you mash dash, sometimes you can get lucky like that. I was a little bit too far to counter him. I'll be perfect position here. So he's repositioning just crazy in this match. He's going to do his X slash, which we're going to dash through. Again, at the last second, the moment he opens it up and uncrosses his arm, that's whenever you can deal damage to him. We're going to try and punish those lunges, but we can't. We can punish the uppercut, though, because he's got really slow recovery on it. He's going to open up this phase with an AoE. Uh, look carefully on the ground for colored sprites moving up in the vertical direction you want to position yourself between them you want to get some uh, strikes and if you can his recovery time is going to be almost nothing so we want to position ourselves in a way that we won't get tagged up so again if you have a range attack it's the perfect time to use it whenever he's using his aoe because if not he can punish you so we're gonna we don't ever get too greedy he's doing his aoe again this is either a good time to heal or you use your projectiles. He's going to lunge through every time after he does his AoE. That's just like clockwork. He's going to do his front flip. We're going to dash because we're in a terrible position. He's going to do his lunge. We're dashing through it. He's repositioning like crazy right now. Hopefully he doesn't do his double uppercut. He's not. I Actually, that was a little aggressive on my part. I shouldn't have done that. We're going to lunge through. That was also pretty aggressive on my part. Um, we're going to continue 
um, tagging him with a few projectiles as he lunges through doing this AoE. It's a nice little window for us to attack or heal, fortunately. He might do two here. Got to be very careful. He's going to do two. He's going to lunge. He likes to lunge after he hits you with a range attack just to kind of add, uh, <laughs> add a little salt to the wound. But anyway, so let's not get greedy. He's going to do his AoE again. So once we find the sparkles, we're going to get in between them. He's going to lunge. We're going to try and punish the lunge. He's going to do his uppercut attack. And he's dead. So that's pretty much how you do it. Again, I would say that never give up. Because in the beginning, it's going to be quite difficult for you to really pull that off. Um, and the thing is, you're going to have some bad starts. I had to take a lot of damage up front in the first phase which to be honest I hadn't actually taken any damage in the first phase in several of my practice attempts so um, what you want to do is you want to continue going on because really it's just a matter of can I nail the rest of the mechanics so again it's understanding the movement pattern um, and then understanding how many moves he can do and, and how to bait and manipulate the moves he's going to do so based on your positioning you can also influence the attacks that he can do so again, we just stuck with it. We stayed true to our uh, techniques and our strategies, and we were able to take down all of the Mad Knight. So I'm going to leave you here with this purification sequence, but uh, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you guys have been enjoying the boss guide. We still have Captain Knight Julius. We have Muriel. We have uh, the Blighted Lord. Um, and I'm probably missing someone else. Oh, Honir as well. So those are going to be a lot of fun, difficult boss fights that we're going to have to go through as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So today, we defeated Ulv the Mad Knight. Today, I purified... Oh, uh, oh gosh, that's a terrible outro. Let's, let's back that one back up. Today, I defeated Ulv the Mad Knight. Today, I purified a blighted soul. And today, I streamed Ender Lilies for your viewing pleasure. The fuck have you done lately? Seeing Human One signing out. Catch you guys next time.